Whew, Lord Jesus, be my thoughts, be my words, Lord Jesus. Every word that's flowing off of my tongue, Lord Jesus, make it make sense. In the name of Jesus, amen. <laughs>
cover up the hardness of my nipples and so they can I guess look a, like look smaller or so they could just like stay down I don't know it was just like weird I used to do that I used to wear a sweater like I don't know I just was just so it was just so uncomfortable being a girl like I like dress like a girl like I was just always so uncomfortable so I decided to wear start I decided to start wearing um, bigger clothes you know clothes that were bigger clothes that hid everything I was insecure about I went from there so I was a tomboy and I was still dating the guy at the time and I remember feeling those feelings uh, for 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 females and just me not being able to like keep it inside anymore so like I told him I told him a couple times I was like you know you know because we talked I told him like I think I like girls or whatever the case may be but it like nobody took me serious like when I said it they just like uh -huh, laugh it off so like that's what he did that's what I did because at the time I didn't even know if I was serious about it I didn't even know what was going on I was confused I, I didn't I was I didn't know what was going on so I just knew that I had this feeling I was feeling the way and that uh, I couldn't control it so I told him and then I remember um telling my mom the same thing like i told her more than once i was like mom i think i like girls and she just like laughed it off like stop playing like he 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 you know so i'm like all right so i have this cousin who have like this um sister-in-law and we became close over that summer they want to be doing fireworks like excuse me y'all it's late at night and ooh, I live in a project and it is real ghetto around here. Uh, they've been doing fireworks everywhere though for a couple months. But and it's hot. I don't know why it's hot. I don't know why I'm hot. Maybe I'm nervous. I don't know. It's just like me opening up to y'all. But um Yeah, so me and this girl we had gotten close over the summer and I started to catch feelings and she caught feelings too. And it was it was like weird at the time it was like very weird very strange it was awkward um i didn't know what to do with those feelings but i know i was feeling them like and they wouldn't go away so it was time that i broke up with my boyfriend so i told y'all that he lived a couple doors down so i was on his porch one day and i was sitting on his lap and then i just got up and i just like screamed like I like girls and I can't be with you no more and that was period like let him tell it it's like I screamed it to for the whole world to hear like but it wasn't even that serious like I didn't even I wasn't even that loud like I just told him like I like girls like I'm tired of y'all taking me thinking it's a joke like thinking it's a game it's not a game like these are my feelings and I feel like I like girls so um so the what we what we have is over, you know, because I have feelings for girls and I need to explore these feelings that I have. So once I ended that, um it began to be clear. My feelings were getting stronger and stronger for this female. I was in high school and when I got to high school, um you it, you saw gayness everywhere. I mean, like, you saw girls dating girls. I really didn't see, you know, boys dating boys. But I seen a lot of lesbians. You know, I seen a lot of people who were dressed like I, how I wanted to dress. Just, like, full-blown, like, in boy clothes. Like, because at the time, that's what made me comfortable. Like, I... I wanted to be comfortable, but my mom, she really wasn't trying to have that. I was a freshman, and the girl that I had a crush on was a senior. But we really, we communicated. We really didn't talk that much in school. We talked outside of school, like I said, our, our peoples was people. So, you know, it was just... It was just like that. We was we was close and we saw each other often. All I had to do was like walk around the corner or all she had to do was walk down the street, you know, and there it was like that or whatever. So I finally told my mom, y'all. I told my mom. She I remember, man, we lived on Berwin and Ewing. Like 
and she was in the bathroom sitting on the toilet and I was just in my room pacing back and forth, pacing back and forth like I gotta tell her and she got she's going to take me serious this time. So I was like, Mom, I like girls. I don't think I like girls. I know that I like girls. So she was on the phone. She like, girl, let me get off this phone because this is the third time she just said this and I think she's serious this time. Let me call you back. So she got off the phone and we talked about me liking girls. I just told her that I find them attractive. Um, I have feelings for them. And so she was just like, okay. You know, she was, she was like, okay. Like, she was very supportive, you know. So, like, that was that. And so with this girl, um, I had feelings for her. She had feelings for me. She was a senior. I was a freshman. Um, our, our peoples was peoples. And nobody really didn't accept it back then. So, we was just very much in denial about you know how we felt you know our feelings toward each other um and towards the same sex period especially her she had it worse than me um we did like kiss once in the hallway but that was like it and it was just like a little peck or whatever um but then that just took me over the top and then i was just like okay i like that i dig that so i'm a rock with i'm a rock with this side for a little bit and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna explore so she shut me down it was a whole big thing with like my cousin and you know just like you know she denying the fact that she's she's into girls and me denying the fact that i was into girls too because i mean at that time it was just like i I don't know, it's just like, I didn't want to be out at that time, you know, I was just, like, still finding myself, and I know I wasn't going to be accepted, because everybody always made fun of gays, like, oh, you know, it's so wrong, or whatever the case may be, so, of course, I was denying it, or whatever, so, I got over that, because she was on some corny shit, she didn't want to defend me, and stick up for me, so, I moved on from that, and then I had my second girl crush, Shell, she was a little tomboy, um and we was we was cool friends like but i always had them thoughts in the back of my mind like i'm gonna get her like she's gonna be mine but that never happened of course and then like the next year she wasn't she didn't even go to the school no more like she went to a whole nother school i was so heartbroken i'm like dang i mean so as i'm you know finishing up my freshman year of high school i see what their what is called studs um you know um like masculine females you know females that dress like you know more masculine um or females who are more dominant so i started seeing that so i was like curious like hmm like that's a whole vibe or whatever and then i met this girl who went to Trent High from MySpace. It was my MySpace back then. So we was just on MySpace and I met this girl and um that's when like she became my girlfriend like that. And I started dressing even more masculine. Like like I like I was like my cousin Donald like I was wearing his like borrowing his shirts and stuff to wear. Like my cousin Yosef like I was like rocking they stuff like and I felt comfortable in it like you feel me like I'm comfortable on fly period like you couldn't tell me nothing then it was time for me to come out to my family okay so my mom was one thing my mom I don't even remember my mom my dad my sis, siblings I mean at that time my mom and dad was going through a divorce so like my dad had just moved out the house and everything so um, I don't even remember his reaction. He was just like, okay, so what? And <laughs> got rest his soul, everyday love. But, um, the worst critics, um, were my other, my family. Like, my grandma, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins. Like, I know that they was going to have so much to say. So much to say. So, so the worst, like, feedback I got was from my grandma okay so at this time I was 
I was dressing how I was dressing. And I was at her house on the boulevard. And she told me, God rest her soul as well. She just passed last year in November. Um, she told me, well, you know we ain't got no handicaps in our family. Well, we got a pretty normal family. We don't got no handicaps. We don't got no retards. And then here go you. Here go you with your bull dagger. And she just said so so many hurtful things, you know. She called me ugly and retarded and a bull dagger and a dyke and this and that and a third, which really hurt my feelings. But at the same time, I got scar from her, so so I was ready for the world after that. I was ready for what the world had to say to me because I had already heard it from my grandma right there in that apartment telling me, calling me all types of names and everything like that. So. I was just like, wow, that's really, like, it really hurt my feelings, but at the end of the day, I was just like, whatever, like, when I left her house, I was gone, I was gone, I was, I had it in my mind, this as long as my mom accepted, my parents accepted, I don't care, like, I don't, I don't care, like, this is me, this is, these are my feelings, this is my life, this is my heart, my heart is what the heart wants, so, I didn't really care what anybody else said, so, then I had cousins, um, Ooh, my cousins. Hey, y'all. They was very judgmental as well. Um, you know, I when I, I cut my hair, when I got my locks 10 years ago, um, it was, so you want to be a boy? You want to be a boy? So you're a boy? Like, what you want to be? You want to be a boy? Oh, you just confused. Oh, you don't know what you want. Oh, you still young. Oh, you're curious. Oh, this. Oh, that. So, me, and at the time, some of that was true. Like, I was curious. I was confused. I didn't know what I wanted, but I knew that I had these feelings for girls and that I wanted to pursue these feelings. So, and that was on period. So, I didn't care what they had to say. I was just like, okay, or whatever. And then you have aunts and uncles that call me all types of names as well just very judgmental and then you have now in high school only had like like a handful of friends you know i wasn't like popular or anything but i had like a little little group of friends or whatever and one of my friends india she she was just like well you know um you know is it a being gay is an abomination it's in the bible and the bible say that she shouldn't be gay and i'm like what i'm like no it's not that is not in the bible like god did not say that i'm an abomination like what do you mean so i went and i looked and i'm just like oh wow so me not knowing me growing up in the church like being a christian my entire life like i got baptized when I was 10 I was served and I was in a church and I grew this relationship with God and then when I had these feelings like I didn't like I never heard a preacher preach about gays like or my preacher my preacher or unless I wasn't listening but my preacher never preached about gays and that it was wrong and that I was going to hell and that it was a sin. like he never preached about that I didn't know I didn't know that part of the Bible and I clearly didn't care when she told me I mean I did I I did I, I, I scratched that I'm lying I did care like I was really hurt because I really went home from school and I looked in the Bible and I'm just like really hurt like so this isn't right so the gay jokes wasn't just gay jokes. They were gay jokes for, like, a reason. Like, like, I'm not supposed to feel this way towards girls, towards the same sex. Like, I I was really heartbroken, confused. Um, but I slept on it, and I prayed on it. And I still had those feelings, and I couldn't knock those feelings. Like, they were feelings that I had. And, um boys they started to be less and less attractive like I was like 
less attractive to guys like they were just so ugly to me then like it was just like girls they were just so pretty beautiful like uh uh and then dudes I was just with the stank face like ew like you're ugly I don't know it's just, it was just very weird it's just like my taste just changed like I like I wasn't attracted to boys no more and I was very attracted to girls and that was just not something that was it wasn't something that was for it just something that came from within like so um so so I lost like when I especially when I cut my when I cut my hair and got locks like my locks were about this long And I had a lot of people, a lot of my friends asked me, so do I want to be a boy? And my answer, not even, my answer was yes. Because at that time, that's how I felt too. Like, I didn't really know. I just knew that, I just knew that, okay, so it's, it's abomination. All right, so then I don't want to be a girl no more. Since it's an abomination. All right, so now I want to be a boy. I want to be a boy so I can date girls. Because being a girl, dating a girl is an abomination. I want to be a boy. So, I started telling people, yes, I want to be a boy. Yes, I want to be a boy. So I was telling my friends that. And I lost so many friends, child. What? Like, just so many friends I done lost because I wanted to be a boy. And clearly, I didn't care. Like, I didn't have, I had the one friend, Indian, who the one that told me, said, girl, you better go read the Bible. Um, Like, she was my friend. Like, she stayed my friend until, like, after high school and everything. But most of my friends, they was just like, oh, I don't want to be friends with a girl who want to be a boy because what if she come on to me? Like, it wasn't even that. Like, I wasn't coming on to my friends. Like, I didn't want my friends. I didn't look at my friends any differently. It was just that I like girls now. I'm not saying I like y'all. Ew. Like, I just like girls, but they took it the wrong way. I want to be a boy, so maybe they don't want me to make a pass at them. Or, you know, it was just so wrong, so they didn't want to have no parts or whatever. So, um, so I had a girlfriend from Trent High. And we hit it off and stuff, and then we broke up, and uh, I met my first love when I was 15. And love, that was my first love, and then... Um, me dressing like a boy, I, and then me dating a girl who dressed it like a girl, so she was called a femme, I was called a stud, and we were put, we were labeled and put into a box, pretty much. Like, I was this, she was that, and this is how it worked, you know. Um, very shortly into the relationship, I knew I didn't want to be a boy. Like, I knew I was a girl, and I wanted to be a girl. I liked my girl parts, and I wanted to be a girl. I just liked dressing the way I dressed. I was comfortable, and and it made me comfortable. So, that's how I wanted to look, and that's how I like looking. And um, I went with that. Um, I still received hate and judgment from relatives and friends and the world but I did not care because I was being myself and that's who I was at the time I was myself and like that's how I felt and um that's who I was and I wouldn't let anybody deter me from that I know it's a lot of people still to this day that struggle with coming out because they are afraid of what the world might think of them but I'm here to let you know that you don't have to worry about what nobody else has to say because you're the only one that has to live your life okay God is our only judge and there's people who who go to church and read the Bible and they're just so judgmental of homosexuals but there's a billion trillion other sins and we all sin every day and God he does not want us for our sin he wants us for our soul and he loves all of us all of us he loves all of us no matter if you gay or straight or trans or anything else he loves you you do what makes you happy that's all that matters so in honor of pride month 
I just wanted to share that little story. I know I didn't want it to be like longer drawn out because there's a lot more to like, you know, the story and just like everything with what I went through with coming out and just where I'm at today because as I told y'all in my mukbang question and answer video that um, I'm dating men currently. So, that is tea for another day as well, y'all. So, if y'all want to find out how, how I went from being a lesbian to dating men, how I went from um, being a stud to a, being a stud to a femme, um, y'all stick around because there's a lot of tea to be shared on this channel, okay? So, y'all, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if y'all want to hear, yeah, if y'all want some more tea, okay? And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed, all right? Until next time, y'all be safe and God bless. Bye.